that is a new bud back pencil. Bleh, 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 bleh. It's a very good thing. This is a new blood black pencil. The ultimate accolade you could ever get, whether you're a student, a graduate, or a professional. Black is the thing you wish you wish you thought of. The new blood black pencil represents hope. Um, it represents a new generation coming to a creative industry, showing the people who are in the creative industry what's new and what's relevant and showing them the way. Black pencil judging, the way that it works is we look at all the work that won yellow or white pencils. We go through everything, we enjoy all the great work, and then we come back and we look at the work that's really moved us, that's really hooked us. And that's the work that we debate. And everyone has a chance to put the work that they loved on the table, and then we go for it. You walk into the black pencil judging room knowing what you think your standards should be and ready to fight over what that means to you. The yellow is not just from my category, but across the board, I think there was some really absolutely stellar work. Real great thinking in some areas, really beautiful art direction in others, and really great um, strategic thinking in others. Everyone needs to get behind the idea. Everyone needs to go, yes, whatever discipline, whatever craft, whatever, whatever it is, Everyone needs to go, this is amazing. In the end, um, you had pretty much unanimous verdict on one of the winners and almost unanimous on the second one. So I think there was a consensus and it was around brilliance and bravery beautifully executed. We have two black pencils, which is wonderful. And they are, are both of them uh, incredibly emotive uh, narrative pieces uh, in, in very, very different way. The feeling of being a teenager. <laughs> That in-between age, not old enough to get away from your parents, the search for identity and independence. Fuck off. That teenage angst and rebellion. Fizzy drinks and bottles of squash. It's so raw and honest and fresh, but the, um, the simplicity of the execution belies the depth of craft that's going on through the sound and the writing and the shot selection and the framing and the openness of the work. sort of deft and sort of beautifully done, not wearing its strategy too heavily, managing to be cool without even trying, which you know, is something I've never been able to do, so I'm you know, instantly jealous of that. The stuff that tipped it over into black was um, real clarity of thought, real executional greatness. It was so artistic and it was really shudderingly good to watch. I mean, if you looked at that on the screen, it felt like really raw, unfiltered, pure communication and left you kind of shuddering at how good it was. Through a typeface, create a positive impact on the world. And that's, that's a very, very difficult brief to achieve. The monotype black pencil, Retro Serif, wins its black for its emotive values and the story that it's told of a censorship of a language. And by discovering a story about missing letters in a Russian typeface that changed war and peace from war and society and reducing an alphabet and reducing the expression that people can use letters for, reinstating that through typography is a wonderful narrative in a typographic brief. It was political, it was personal, it was passionate. The impact that such a simple idea could have was so profound. It was exceptionally well crafted, it was exceptionally well researched, it, was, it meant something to that person obviously and to that community and for that not to be awarded would have been criminal. Just Stunning. Stunning. It was absolute slam dunk black pencil. I think the winner today can just remind us all that it's important to be brave and when you are brave and you're brilliant in terms of execution on top of brave, everyone pays attention to that piece of work which is the thing we all want for the project we work on and the clients we work for. Creativity has to mean something to people now. It's not enough to just sort of solve a problem. People, the people that have really sort of gone above and beyond, they've, they've embedded meaning into the work and that really separates really good work from really great work. It's really eye-opening and it's really exciting to get that new talent and you know to really elevate them into the industry and give them that opportunity. It got us all thinking and dreaming and imagining what a future might be and this is exactly what New Blood's about, the next generation of talent. <laughs>